What's up guys, Billy here, and today I wanted to share three of my favorite editing applications for the iPhone. Now all three of these are available on the iPhone as well as the iPad, and as far as I know are only available on an iOS device. If they are available on the Google Play Store, I would recommend them, as they're some of the best that I've used and I think I've tried almost all of them. Now I do want to mention that this isn't a replacement solution to an editing software on let's say your computer, as you definitely get a lot more functionality and power, and obviously your mobile device can't match up to a full desktop or laptop. But again, this is useful for some that are just looking to edit quick videos here and there and share them through social media. Now the reason that I'm making this video is to answer a frequently asked question that I get and that is what editing software would you recommend? Now I would recommend Final Cut Pro, it does cost $300 and it is a fairly pretty penny to spend on something that maybe is your hobby which could be just light video editing. So with these applications you should be able to get into the video editing game and make your videos look a lot better, again just using a mobile device and not having to maybe upgrade your computer or even go out and buy a more powerful computer. Now with that being said, when downloading footage off of your drone or straight from your drone to your device, it's only going to be available in 720p. So if you're shooting in 4K, you won't be able to edit that 4K footage. And on the other hand, I mean, I guess it really wouldn't be plausible to edit 4K footage on your phone just because it's not as powerful as, again, a laptop or a desktop. For those of you who may be wondering, I actually haven't produced a full video within these editing softwares to upload to my YouTube channel, as again, the workflow on a computer is just so much easier. So all the videos you see are made through a Mac with Final Cut Pro, and you won't probably be able to achieve, again, the highest production value, but this will be perfect for those looking to share the videos through YouTube, um, maybe Facebook, or even Twitter with friends and family. To get things started, let's take a look at how we can get the footage off of our drone and onto our iPhone or iPad, whichever you're using. So first we need to power on the drone and then power on the remote controller. From there, open up the DJI Go application and then click on the editor tab. Now from here, you'll be able to see some of the different videos that you've taken as well as the pictures, but again, we will be focusing on videos for this video right here. So click on the videos that you want to save and then from here click on download original. Now if you don't have your drone connected you won't be able to download the original and it'll prompt you to turn on your device as well as your remote controller. Now from here once the video has fully downloaded at the bottom left corner you'll notice that a download button appears. Once you click that download button it should be saved to your camera roll and there you are you're ready to edit. This process is fairly tedious and may take a long time depending on how long the videos are that you've shot, but once they're all saved to your phone, you should be ready to edit. There is one thing I want to mention and that is on the Android side of things. Many of those phones have an SD card slot which make it a lot easier to transfer data, but with the iPhones, as we know, it only has that internal storage which definitely is a drag. If it had an SD card slot, things would change entirely. For this video, I've devised a little test that I can run through each of these editing applications replicating the same exact thing. Uh, so basically I have five different videos that I want to edit together to some music. For the remainder of this video on the right you'll see the screen recording from these applications to get a feel for the interface as well as some of the features and on the left you'll still see my face with some commentary in the background as I go through some of the pros and cons that I've found with each of the applications. The first application that we have is Muse Mage, which is a free editing application and really does get the job done. Now as far as pros go, I have written down here, first of all is simplicity. I mean really, you just choose your clips, you choose your music, choose what sections of that clip and music that you want to use and export. It's as easy as that. They do have some basic features, but again, it's simple, easy, cookie cutter, and I think that it really does get the job done for being a free application. Now also, another pro that I found is obviously the price. I know a lot a lot of people like free stuff, I mean who wouldn't love free stuff, and you can go onto the App Store right now, download this for free, and start editing videos to share with all of your friends that look a lot better than just uploading the raw footage. Again, you won't be getting that 4K resolution, but you will be able to make a better video through this post-production process. Now the one con that I have for this application is just the lack of features. As you'll see later in this video when we get into some of the different editing applications, you're able to do so much and honestly you're only paying an extra 2 or 5 bucks for it. I think it's worth it, but if you guys are looking for a quick solution that's free, I would totally recommend Muse Mage. 
The next application that we have is Video Shop, which goes for $1.99 on the App Store. Now, I've got to say, this thing has been around forever. I remember seeing it in the top charts under the photo and video category for the longest time, honestly, as long as I can remember, and it really just gets the job done. When it comes down to it, the app never crashes. You're able to import your footage, get through all of the processes that you need, and come out with a great-looking video. With that being said, this is probably my least favorite application amongst these three right here. It's the last one that I would go to, but there is one thing that stands out. It's kind of the diamond in the rough, and that is the whole color correction process. You're able to change the hue, the saturation, the contrast, I mean all of the above and really make your footage look just the way that you want it to. Honestly this is probably the only reason that I would use this as it is a clunky looking software and there are some wait times when you're importing footage as well as when you're doing any task like speeding up etc etc. It seems that when you're using any of the other applications I list in this video it does it automatically and there's really no wait times. Getting back to what I was saying about it being a clunky application, it seems like they put too much on this home screen, like there's not enough drop down menus or settings tab to hide some of this stuff, it's just all right here on this small phone screen, making it super hard for me to concentrate. With that being said, I do think that it gets the job done for $1.99 and the color correction aspect of this application definitely can't be beaten. The next editing application that we'll take a look at is iMovie, and man oh man is this my favorite application on the iPhone to edit videos with. Now this goes for 5 bucks on the uh, App Store, but honestly I think that all these pros I'm going to say are going to justify the price for it. So the first thing I've written down here is the clean design. When you look at it, it's a nice dark background, it's easy to edit videos and it's easy to look at, and also it really just feels like you're using a computer. I mean, as I go through this application, splitting clips, duplicating stuff, deleting stuff, adding different features, I just feel like I'm sitting at my laptop and sometimes I forget, I'm like, oh, I'm on my phone. Uh, so again, I think that that clean design really does add to it and I really do just feel like I'm sitting down at my computer. Now the next thing I want to say about this is the iCloud integration. As you work on your iPhone and edit videos, it'll actually be available for you on your laptop if you have a Mac with iMovie installed. It's super awesome to be able to edit videos on the fly and then get home and be able to edit on iMovie at your computer. iMovie is an awesome editing application for your Mac, especially if you're trying to get started with video editing. The next step up is what I'm using Final Cut Pro, which is another $300, but if you don't have that kind of money laying around to invest in your hobby, then iMovie works perfectly. Aside from the clean design and the computer-like editing software, I want to highlight the beautiful titles that you have access to when using this application. Now these titles look absolutely professional, I was honestly blown away. They're just like the ones that I would use in Final Cut or even iMovie, and they're right here available for you on your iPhone. Compared to some of the other titles that were available in Musemage or Video Shop, these just blow me away. Now moving on to my cons list, which is definitely shorter than my pros list. The first thing that I've written down is the price, and I have some question marks written next to it, just because I think that the price is totally justified. You get a great application. It feels like you're using a computer and also gives you a bunch of great features only for five bucks. I think that this thing should be going for at least $15 on the App Store, and I would totally buy it. But hey, I'm not complaining with a $5 application. That is absolutely awesome. Now the next thing I've written down here is the lack of color correction tools. They have these presets for you, I would never catch myself using them as I think that they're just a little bit gimmicky and they're something that you'd see on like Instagram that looks terrible, if you guys know what I mean when people totally over edit their photo. Again, I would never use these color correction tools, I would love to see something like the video shop color correction added into this where we can change the hue, contrast, saturation, etc, etc. With that being said, the pros do outweigh the cons and I would have to say that this is absolutely my favorite editing software or application for the iPhone and iPad. So guys, that about wraps up this video. I hope you enjoyed. It was a little bit different and it was fairly short, but I wanted to share my three favorite video editing applications for your iOS device. I hate seeing those videos online of people just posting 20 minute long drone videos. I mean honestly, it's super easy to edit your video and also is fairly cheap if you just use your mobile device. It does suck that you won't be able to publish in 4K, but that's what you get for using such a small device that isn't all that powerful. I hope that from here, people start to edit their videos a little bit more using their mobile device and then from here maybe make that leap or make that jump to their computer using a more powerful editing software allowing you to export, render, and even upload that 4K footage that you've taken with your drone. 
So guys, as I said, this video is coming to an end. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are new around here as I have been trying to upload daily. Also, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you think of the applications that I featured in this video. If I missed any and if you guys think you have a better video editing software, make sure to leave a little comment down in the description and I'll be sure to check that application out. Uh, so guys, anyway, as I said, this video is coming to an end and as always, I'll talk to you later. Peace.